Hi uh, guys, today I will be showing you how to um, do a few different things with the select statements. I'll start by showing you uh, select where, which will allow you to add conditions to your SQL select statements. Um, order by statements, which is um, ascending and descending. Uh, how to limit them, and then how to select from multiple tables. So we'll first start by giving you a quick look here at my database. What I have set up is this table in the database test DB. The table name is YouTube. These are the fields, and here is the data I have pre-populated into them. Next, we also will be using this Facebook table, which is in the same database. This is the three fake um, entries I've added, and these are the fields. So now that you have a little idea of what that looks like, uh, we're going to go ahead and I'll start walking through some of the code and what we're going to be doing. To start with, uh, I've already created a select statement here in a function, and I have a for loop that prints out all of the array data up here. Um, this is a continuation of the other select statement video that I made, so hopefully uh, you'll watch that or understand what we're doing here. Uh, we also have the connection state and all of that ready um, as is now. So the first thing we come down here is we create our connection, we establish that, we get our prepared statement ready, and this will be focusing on just the SQL code. So first we say select all from YouTube, and then when we come down here uh, for our results, what we add to our, our array is the URL field. So if I run this for you here, you can see up here we have fake URL, uh, YouTube slash watch money, film um, slash new Boston and slash intro. So those are four videos that were in the database. And if we go ahead and switch this from select all from YouTube to Facebook and run this, again we have uh, the three postings here that were in that one. So now we want to select from Facebook where the author's name is whatever we choose. So we'll say select all from the table, which in this case is Facebook, and then we'll say where author, which is our field name, equals and then whatever value we want. So let's start with Tim. Now I know that there's two Facebook postings by Tim. I run this and I now know that he posted Steve Jobs and Steve Jobs the second. So we can go ahead and change this to make sure it worked. We'll put in Ashley which is our other Facebook poster and here she posted apples so that's the basic idea of the where statement but we can also use the where statement with variables um, the easiest way for Java right now would just to be to put quotes and then add in a variable name um, which would look just like that and your variable would be here with plus signs on either side um, obviously my var is not declared yet so we're not going to waste time doing that it's pretty straightforward uh, the next option that we can do is we can have something like where author equals um, URL let's say and in this case we'll get zero results because there is no field in our database where the author here is the same as the URL. Now what we could do is say comments and likes. So for that I'm going to change this from 23. I'm going to change this to 1. So now there's one comment and there's one like. So what we're going to do is say um, select all from Facebook where the author, oh, I'm sorry not the author, where the likes equal the comments. And instead of printing out the URL, we want to print out who the author of this article was. So we'll run that. And it comes up here and it says Tim was our author. And as you can see in our database here, Tim was indeed our author. So now let's say for a moment that you have lots of these, um, lots of Tims, and a lot of places where likes and comments are the same. Uh, and you just want to know the top five. So say you were making a game and you just wanted to get the top ten scores or something like that. Um, in this case, we can go ahead and we can do a limit function. So we could say here, uh, we're just going to select all in general. And we want to limit it to one. So we can say limit 
1. This will take one record from each table that matches. Oops, and I didn't take out my where statement. There we go. And this will give us the first author in our database, which in this case is Ashley. Now, as we move forward here, uh, we probably don't want to limit just one, so I'll limit it to two just to show you that that works. Now we have Tim and Ashley, and we can close this out. Now, being able to limit it alone won't do things like get us our high score. We need to be able to also sort it, because right now this will just go by when it was entered into the database. It doesn't know what to organize it by. So we want to go ahead and say order by and then our variable. In this case, let's go ahead and we'll do it um, by name. So we'll say author ASC. And now it goes Ashley, Tim, Tim. And if we want it by descending, we could say desk or DESC. Run this, and now it is Tim, Tim, Ashley. So this is our general order by statement. We say order by the field name that we want to order it by. And then if we want it descending or if we want it um, ascending. So in this case, we could use high scores for something like that. Moving on from our order by statements, we've done our order, we've done our limit, and we've done our where. We now can get into selecting from multiple tables. Now this is where things get a little tricky. You have a couple different options. The simplest and fastest way is we're just going to use two tables here, and we're just going to put them right in, and I'll show you how to do that. There's also join statements that you can do that get a little trickier, um, and I might make a video on that in the future. So we're going to select all from Facebook, comma, YouTube. Now what this is saying is we're selecting every record from the table Facebook and the table YouTube. So next we want to go ahead and say where Facebook.author equals YouTube.author. Now this will only get us the authors um, that have Facebook and YouTube in common. And here we're going to print out just the YouTube author. So we'll say YouTube.URL actually. And this way, when there's an author that posts to Facebook and to YouTube, we'll get all of their YouTube links through here. So I'll run this. And there it is. We have Money Film is the one that they did. Now you'll notice it looped through twice. And the reason for that is we selected all from each table. So here we have one table for Tim, and then we have another table over here for Tim where it meets. So it will run that loop twice. Because YouTube only has one video with that, it will use the same one. So note that if we change this from YouTube to Facebook URL, it will look more like what we expected. So in this case, it comes out as Steve Jobs and then Steve Jobs the second. Now, we have one last thing that I'm going to show you, and that's going to be the and statement. So we want to say select um, all from YouTube and Facebook, where Facebook.author equals YouTube.author, and Facebook.likes equals YouTube.likes. And now I'm going to run this and find out what results it gives us. And here it doesn't give us anything, because if we look in here, um, under the Facebook, we have the users that match for Tim. We have 1, 1, 23, and 1. And our YouTube table, we have 1, but this is for Joe, not for Tim. So if we change Tim's likes here to say 1 like, and save that, and now we'll rerun the program. And here we get just the one result. And this result is where the Facebook author and the YouTube author were the same, and the number of likes on Facebook and the number of likes on YouTube were the same. And this is the one record that matches that criteria. 
So that was a very basic overview of how to do where statements and statements, order by statements, um, ascending and descending, limit the number of records, and then also use multiple tables. You'll note down here we had to do things like facebook.url. That's how the database knows which table field you're talking about. Um, opposed to the AND statement, there is also an OR statement, which is the exact same as if you were programming with a normal IF statement. Um, because that should be pretty redundant, I'm not going to do a video on that one right now. Um, I will continue on with some other videos later and maybe even show you how to do some more complicated join and selects with um, MySQL. Thank you all for watching and please take a look at my other videos.